The broadcaster Melvin Bragg has been a familiar face for just about half a century. He's had cancer in recent years and has been reflecting on his career. At the age of 83, he recently presented the last of his long-running arts programme, The South Bank Show. He grew up in Wigton and used this as the setting for many of his books. And he's been speaking to our correspondent, Tom Sheldrick. Melvin Bragg, thank you for your time. Having done your final South Bank show after many years, will you have more time on your hands now, perhaps more time to get back to Cumbria? Uh, yeah, more time to get back to Cumbria. More time on my hands, yes. Um, South Bank show is a big haul. I started the South Bank show 40, doing it 46 years to the month from where, where we are now, September. I started making the programmes because I knew we were going to go on on January the 8th, so I had to get some programmes under my belt. So I had to get, I got Paul McCartney, Royal Shakespeare, um, the Berlin Ensemble, uh, Dennis Potter, lining up so that we could start and keep going. Did you have any idea it would go on for so long? No, I, after, the, after the, some of the bad reviews in the first two or three months, I didn't think it'd go on for a year. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of going back to Cumbria, do, have you been able to get back much over the last few years? No, not over the last few years. When the kids were small, we went every school holiday, so we spent three months a year there, and that was great. We dug them in there, so they're very nicely dug in up at High Ivy, and so am I. It's a quite, anyway, we like it up there a lot. Uh, it's been difficult the last two or three years, COVID, uh, and then I've been pretty ill uh, for the last two or three years, and travel has been an issue. But we went up a few weeks ago, and it was just, just as good, and the thing about High Ivy is the, the nature and the, and the neighbours. Uh, 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 we're very good friends with some terrific people. I know you have so many memories, but can you share just a few? Please take us back to your childhood. What was it like in the 1940s and 50s? I remember it in great detail. I don't quite know why I remember it in great detail, but I do. We lived in uh, two up, two down at the bottom of Union Street, and then we moved to Council House Yard. That's where my mother thought I should be when she took me to get photographed. I was, that was the one day in my life I was tidy. That's myself with my first girlfriend, Joan. Mm. We're still friends. She still lives in Wicken. I, I, I don't think I sentimentalise it. Uh, Wicken to me was almost the perfect place to be brought up. Wicken was full of clubs run by people who were very uh, public spirited. And so whether it was a cu cub clubs or the Scouts or the AYPA or, or the choir, in my childhood, the Scouts had any cars. Mm. So the town was a playground. Yes. And to sum it up, I would say in Wigton, when I was a child between 39 and say 50, 1950, I was rich in everything that mattered, absolutely everything that mattered. Fascinating hearing from Melvin Bragg. We will hear more from him in tomorrow's programme. Um, before we go this evening, a football result from tonight's international friendly which divides our region and marks the oldest rivalry in world football. Scotland versus England, of course. It was the 150th anniversary match between the nations. It finished Scotland 1, England 3.